Navy aircraft, known as the Skipper, is able to use wings to be able to land on the water in about 11 seconds, take a full load and we'll get out of the water. Indeed, the uh, aerial tank that we saw take off just a few moments ago actually went up to Lake Winnebago, did a quick survey, and they may have, they may have picked up some water. <laughs> a little drop here, like you said the earlier. Water for the, the, the David Parker <laughs> That's right. Captain Miles King is uh, the designed specifically to be a, a aerial fire fire. It's amazing how quickly it's able to pick up water. Yes. They say they, they should be able to make a round trip to the lake and back, drop, come back two minutes later. Yeah. Highly maneuverable aircraft, and like you said, it was designed to be an aerial firefighter, and that means being able to get up and down quickly, make tight turns, and uh, get over the target. I was very impressed on its takeoff, how quickly the pilot was able to rack it into almost 60 degrees of bank. You know, that's close to uh, close to going aerobatic, but uh, not so. Just absolutely knows that when, when time is of the essence, you've got to work hard to make sure that you get the water on the fire. It is big aircraft, but uh, it's pretty cheap. We're saying the the nice four two. It's a large footprint here in Flight Line. Cruise speed 181 miles per hour. Stall speed gentle 76. And about a 301 mile range. Actually, 1300 miles. So we're turning off here at the top of the and heading back into its parking spot. Tried them out, and then we liked them so much. 
My wife Jill bought me a DC-1X David Clark and an electronic noise canceling headset for Christmas a year ago, and I bought her a headset as well. So uh, it was very, very nice. We picked them up from Sporty's Pilot Shop. So uh, the only the only difference between the David Clarks and those others, it's $200 less. There you go. On the shirt final right now, the Sheriff's Face 146. Now, in uh, contrast to the CL215, which was specifically built as a uh, firefighter, this is a converted airline. And it uh, was used to uh, drop by retardant on fires, and uh, about uh, 14 of these are flying in the world today. And wow, batting fires. This one also based out of Canada. And, uh, and again, this is just a precursor to the aerial firefighting demonstrations that we will be putting on for you uh, throughout the week. They're going to taxi all the way down to the end of the runway. The park over at the Whitney uh, Air Force Terminal. So right now, the dog is going to get in the air. The dog is getting ready, getting in position. See you on air show this afternoon. We will indeed. There's an airplane that was known around the world as the BT-18, the AT-7. The AT-11, uh, uh, it was known as the C-45 Expediter, 